Hello everyone, welcome to the MCDSP YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the ML8000 Advanced Limiter, but more specifically, its snap and link functions and how you can use them in combination with one another. Let's get started. The MCDSP ML8000 is a two-stage brick wall look-ahead limiter that allows you to have the utmost control over peaks on any source. Its first stage is the multiband section, which is where we'll find both of the features we're highlighting today, and the second is a master limiter for making broad strokes across the whole frequency spectrum at once. In this session, the ML8000 is on the master fader, but it's in its default state so it's not yet doing anything. Let's hear this mix before we've applied any processing with the plugin. Since the signal flow begins in the multiband section, let's start there by utilizing the snap control. But first, what exactly does snapping do? The snap control will analyze the frequency spectrum and instantly set approximate values for the threshold parameter of each band, thus speeding up your workflow and bypassing the need to dial in each one individually. That being said, how do we actually use it? Well, if you're using the ML8000 on a master fader like I am, all you need to do is press the snap button while your song is playing. Press it during the loudest part of your song for a less aggressive setting, or press it during a quieter part for a more aggressive setting. In this case, I know I only need this stage of the ML8000 to subtly tame peaks in different frequency ranges, so I'll press snap during the chorus so its effects aren't too aggressive. While I do so, keep an eye on the orange triangles at the top of each meter for each frequency band. These triangles represent the threshold values for each frequency band. So when I press the snap button, you'll see each one come down to the values determined by the plugin. Now that the threshold values are set, I'm noticing that they're too aggressive in that the highs and high mids duck out in an unnatural way every time the snare hits. As a result, I'd like to move all the thresholds up so that they aren't so aggressive, but I don't want to click on each threshold triangle one by one and do it that way. Enter the link function. Linking allows us to make changes to the threshold sliders, input gain faders, and band enable buttons on multiple bands at one time. To use the link function, start by clicking the M or master button on any frequency band. Then click the L button on any of the frequency bands you'd like to alter in tandem with the master. You can also hold the shift key on your keyboard and click the M of the band you'd like to designate as the master. If you decide you'd like to unlink them, hold shift and click the M button that you just enabled once again. Now that all the bands are linked to the master band, I'll drag the threshold slider on the master band up. Notice that the other threshold sliders not only move up at the same time, but they also maintain their values proportionately to one another. Let's move on to the second stage and dial in the ceiling and threshold controls to make this mix louder and more powerful. Now that the ML8000 is dialed in, we have the multiband section taking care of subtle peaks in different parts of the frequency spectrum so that the master stage has an easier time limiting the signal. After that, we have the master stage driving up the overall loudness and power of the mix, all without sacrificing clarity or punch. That's all we've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more MCDSP tips and content, and we will see you next time.